Now it's your time. Surely Ben will get in the yeah. chase. Ha- yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Happy birthday, Riley. I okay, have a great day. Can't wait to hang out with you on Friday. Let's get loud. Let's have a big one. Send in, if you want to send in money for a group present from the fans, uh, message me. I'll send you my PSP account. Send it to us. Yeah, we'll get it for you guys. Happy birthday, dude boy. I'm over. G'day and welcome to the Mac Back Podcast. We're back. My name's Jake McKenna, and to my left this week in order of the Man Panel. Most likely to have an issue with queuing. It's my little brother Joe. How are you, Joe boy? Yeah. Jake, I've got some questions about queues and I need your help to find some answers. Nice, no, that's all right. Coming in at 6 foot 1, as it does each and every week, it's the baby brother of the pack. Who we call Jitty Boy, Jitty Boy? How are you? Lining up, queuing up with thousands of people. Gives me the ick. I hate it. Golly. Got the ick. He's got the ick, guys. He's got the ick. We'll be chatting about queuing and queuing etiquette off the top this week. Plus, Joe's bringing us another game of Who's Review. It's been a hot minute since we've done anything like that. Plus, I have a faux pas that occurred to me during the week. Bless you. So, <laughs> plus, Junior Boy, apparently you've got an absolute ripper hero. We're going to build it up for you. It's going to be an absolutely massive amp. Let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys! Oh, the mingos. How are we all? Are we all well? Good. And freaking fantastic. What's been happening? Just living it up. You know how it is. It's April, and we're here, and we're having a good time. We are. You're queuing. I am queuing. That's right. I I have a story that, you know, originally uh, I didn't want to tell it because I got to say it's a bit of a humble brag. Oh, we need to get another one of these. <laughs> we need a fucking <laughs> dink. We need something we for a humble have a jar. brag. I don't even know what and it every is. Every time you tell the story, that's like a humble brag. You yes. put $5. <laughs> I, I like even, it. I don't even know what this is going to be about, but it must be nice. Jack. A humble brag Already. jar. Let's get a humble brag jar okay, going. So it's, I don't want the pile on to start too early. Just yeah? quite, it just, if you have a humble brag, send it in. We'll read it out and we'll decide yeah, whether or not brag. it's a humble brag. All right? Yeah. Sounds good. Let's go. All right. So it starts out. Pretty braggy. I was at the opera. <laughs> nice. That's right. I was at the opera. Opera cost a lot to go to? Um, uh, I think the tickets were kind of expensive. It was a while ago. I don't really remember. Okay. I okay. think we bought them and then it got postponed and stuff. So right. Yep. You kind of forget how much it is. Where's the opera in Perth? We don't have an opera house like Sydney. Um, so a lot of them are in like His Majesty's Theatre, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> this one was in um, The Wacker. That's right, right, okay, that's not where I'm imagining. West Australian cricket. Yeah. <laughs> so imagining so basically, we were all sitting in the stands. They we still let you sit on the on the, um, people on the, on the grass. On the turf and just put back cans. Now, it's a bit more sophisticated than that. No, I have to say. okay. Um, White one. And so we're in the stands, sort of in one side, and then the stage is like 20 meters in from the field. Okay. Um, it was pretty good, but obviously, the whacker, like. They don't usually put on operas. No. Nah. So yeah, mainly cricket. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and obviously a lot of people going there, they've probably never really been to the Wacker so much before because they're, yep. you cricket. know, into <laughs> opera. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, and actually, yeah, when we, were ro- when we were walking in, there was one guy. The Clapping guy. W- guy. No, the guy who works there, he was like, <laughs> he was like, you know, organizing the queue. This isn't the queue we're even talking about. Bloody, we're already on the oh, queue Oh, multiple queues. But we're like getting, walking in to go in. And he was like, all right, everyone, you know, gate A's down here. Welcome to the cricket. <laughs> is that what he like, said? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, is he taking, the, taking the piss? Or is he just like, that's his, Unaware. That's his script. <laughs> anyway, so basically, um, <laughs> he's not a loop. there was a lot of people in there, a lot of people buying, you know, drinks and food before it starts. We're usually at the cricket, obviously, you can do that basically at any time yeah, because it doesn't correct. matter if you miss it because it's, you know, a bit dull. Um, <laughs> and you pr- just quickly, would you prefer to watch opera or cricket? Cricket. <laughs> cricket. Oh, oh, no. Don't, don't, need, don't even think. Depends what the opera is yeah, and who I'm watching the opera with. Yeah. It's, it's never about the event. It's who you go to the event with, boys. And so basically, <laughs> so there were a lot of lines and it was similar some to... some exciting funerals, have you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> it was similar to like um, Optus and stuff, how like different... Sp- spots Th- this had food and th- this certain food here this place okay. had drinks this had alcohol this had so lots of different places so i was looking to get soft drinks pussy uh, <laughs> <laughs> no because kira is driving and kira is still on her p-flight so you can't drink at all pussy um so i was in the line going to get the soft drinks right yeah. mm. 
And then the way it worked is, so this line was basically one line going this way, oh. snake around, oh. and then you're in the, you know, and then you're basically ready to order. Oh. The line to get the beers and wine, yeah. their line oh. went, was so long that it went parallel to oh. our first band of the snake. It's like when you're playing, remember the old Nokia game of snake? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And your small snake became the big snake because you're eating all the other snakes? Yeah, so this snake was very close to having a munch on us <laughs> and i'm in standing in the line and then i noticed that there's a couple next to me so they're in the line going so i'm walking we're both walking this same way mm-hmm. they're going to the Beer alcohol line, line yep. and they think they're in the food and drinks line oh that's how long it was yeah because they were looking up at the food thing oh. and saying about what they're going to get yeah and then and their line was even longer than ours right so they finally realise once we get to the end of the snake and I'm starting to turn in, they realise that's where we want to be. We're not in the right spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? So I've, I sort of noticed them looking at the wrong menu being like, what are, what, like, are they just talking about the food or what? And then I notice and I see them and then I was like, oh, you guys, you guys meant to be in this line. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. So then I go, come on in. Oh. And I opened up the... Oh, oh like thing. you fucking work the there. The illegal barricade. And the reason why I did it is because they had already, their line was longer than our line. Yeah. So they've already queued for longer than anyone who's behind me. Yeah. What so do the people behind you think about this? I didn't look back. This move from a <laughs> supervisor whacker. But this is why I wanted to get your opinion. What do you guys think about that? So is that, was I in the right? Well, you, what you've now done is you've built a small gang. That's what you've done. <laughs> and no matter what happens, the three of you you're are now... We're like in blood. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing will break that apart. If you see Kira now, you're actually closer with the gang yeah. than you are with her. So... You, you have a gang sign, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but, and also because they only... The way I saw it was like... They only got like a couple... Like they got a Pepsi and yeah. like a hot dog or whatever the hell. Yeah. They didn't take long to order at all. No. That's fair. So like, uh, well. but what looks were you getting? Because you've not only have you let them in, you've changed the, world. the actual line. No, no, I, I, I only let. I opened it up. I let two people in, Close and then the I end. closed it. See, up. See, but do you know who's meant to do that? Employees. People who work there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they were. No, uh, I don't. What if anyone starts just doing that? There was no organization in these lines. These lines were incredibly confusing. Where do you draw the line? What if? What if? What if ten people behind them was like, "Oh yeah, we also wanted food." Next thing you know, Joe's. How long are you going to stand no, there? I would only let if it was. No, nah, there. If everyone in that line was meant to be an ally, that's too damn bad. But two people. What's the line? Five. Let's go. Mm. Can we go three? Would you let three people win? I reckon. Would you let three people win? Yes or no? I reckon. So there were two people in this couple, but they count as one person because they were. I reckon I would have done if it was more than two groups of people. Wait, would you do three people? Me, you, and each, Riley are standing there. Are they? Well, if you're together, then yes. Would you do four people? If, if we're standing together, together, if we're all standing together, keep going. Four people. Yeah. Five people. That's pushing it. Man. Why is that pushing it? They're all still together. <laughs> because then the line has to move back. <laughs> 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 If the line starts moving back. Okay, so that's where we draw the line. As long as it doesn't change. But you do understand that a line, no matter how long it is, we could stand seven metres apart from each other. There is still the same amount of people in front. Yeah, but the the folks up back don't You think if you... It's like you're trying to submerge them into water. And as long as they don't dive into the water... There's no splash. There's no splash. (laughs) No one will notice it. If you just submerge them in, it's fine. But if you disrupt the ecosystem by having people who are standing there... Chuck it in reverse. That's when issues are going to be caused. Yeah, I think that because they, my my logic was, they have queued longer than we have because their line is bigger. Yeah. So like, what sort of looks did you get? Surely you got a few looks. No, no one seemed to care. I'll prefer it, man. Could you imagine doing it at the cricket? Yeah. So your theory is that they've waited the same amount of time that they should, or longer than they yeah, should. Yeah, they've paid their time. But the people in your line are ultimately. They're now waiting longer. Sacrifice. Yeah. Due to it was like an extra 30 seconds yeah, but for them to be served. Like if you left the cricket 30 seconds earlier, you get hit by a truck, Joey. Yeah, truck, you yeah. may have caused. So you would have gone. Or this maybe. Is bad. Listen to this. Back of the line. Listen to this. Maybe they also, the guys behind you. So these guys in front of you, the, the guys behind you also wanted a hot dog. They took the good hot dog. Well, they did. They got a sick hot dog the and killed them, Joe. You fucking killed them. My question is the people directly behind you. 
So I think you have a duty of care to check to at least check with the people who it's immediately impacting. Who are going? I've been looking at a bloke who's yeah, been they wearing. They in front of me. I've been looking at a bloke who's been wearing a green shirt this whole time, and now I've got Sally with the ponytail. This. No, 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 they went in front of me. I'm not giving them back edge. That's <laughs> that's fucked. Yeah, you can't give back edge. You got to give front. I gave him front edge. I love those terms. Um, <laughs> frontage. Frontage. Okay. So you're still trying to hide them. Surely, did you speak to the people behind you? No, they didn't say anything. Pussies. Out of fear. Who was it? What were they? Uh, they were short. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they didn't A short them. woman. A short woman. Yeah. Uh, would you, okay. Would you say anything? So you had a beat. Would yeah. you guys say anything if you were behind? If you were behind Joe? Well, they would oh, I would, but that's just because I would make a joke. I would. You would oh, we let anyone someone, anyway. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, fucking no. Who else are we going to You guys want to come in? You guys want to come in here? Yeah, but she heard the conversation. Th- was there? Surely would have been an acknowledgement from her. Look, if that lady had a problem, you should have said something. If you put your hand out for a backwards okay. high five, would she have hit you? You reckon? How gone, is, I got you. Okay, if I, I agree decide, with that decision, give me I, some skin. <laughs> if I check with the lady one behind me, yeah, yeah. Where's why she have the authority? Yeah. To make because the call for the rest of the line. Yeah, but you need I someone. Mean, you need a third need party. You need a third end. party. Because yeah. you, you can't just be letting anyone in. Because that's the thing. Like the moment you just start doing it, it's like, whoa, this bloke. The power's gone to his head. Yeah. The moment you oh check God. it off with a lady, you go, is this socially acceptable? At least you've got her, and now you've got a gang of four. Mm. And yeah, understand. We could take. Then you got good on either side. Mate. I got my front and back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't get, get stabbed in the back <laughs> or in the front, which is the key, I think. There you go. We've learned yeah. nothing else. Well, there you go. That was. I thought it was a nice thing to do. They were so chuffed. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Be. How would you respond? Would you do it? You're in the same position. I wouldn't do it, no. No, I'm pretty so good. What, at, you I'm pretty good at just burying my head. head. No, I wouldn't look at them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be That's taking enough notice on them. Can you, okay, can you imagine? You've just... This is, this is the way I see it, right? They've just queued up. It's a Friday night. The show's almost... We don't it. need the... <laughs> don't okay, need the pity story. Yeah, we don't need the emotional... Just had a divorce. She s- was talking about a funeral she attended earlier yeah, in the week. you think about it like this. They queued up. Realize they're in the wrong line. They need to go completely back to the other line. That's almost a night ruiner. You could be wow. like, wow. If that's a night ruiner, you're at the yeah, opera. You could be, like, <laughs> you could you be like, this is sour in my mood so much. I'm so annoyed about this. But then the opera would be. Really, but if you go, oh, those two people are in the line, now they're in front. To everyone else at the back line, it's like a blip. See, I think what, what actually happens is they're standing in line. They look at what they thought was their line and then realize it's not. And the realization is not that they're in the wrong line, it's that they're fucking idiots. That's what it <laughs> is. <laughs> Righty boys, time for a game. It's one of Joey's games that he hosts. He yes, hosts a is. couple of games. This is arguably my I favorite. Agree. I really today. run this fucking ship. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. So this is Who's Review. Joe pins two different operations against one another. And we've got to guess whose review is it? Who's review? Who's review? Yeah, I really want to know. Who's review? Who's review? Tell me who's review. Who's review? Who's review? Yeah, because I really want to know. Who's review? Who's review? That one doesn't get repetitive at all. No. I don't want to repetitive. You did? <laughs> no, I said it's hard to. Oh. <laughs> you said you know. did. Um, yeah, who's review? So Joe gets two corporations previously. I think we've had RAC, we've had Optus Arena. We've had, the we've had a few kebab joints, Korea. yeah. The, we played it with... We played um, it with Jared and Tay. Cody Ritchie. We played it with Jared and Tay and we did Yeah, but Night we called Cops. it... What's Something else? Oh, fucking oh, we're switched good. on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we're good. Anyway. Joe, give us the two corporations this time. What's the theme for this week's who's review? The theme is pew, pew, pew. we've got Laser Blaze <laughs> no. and so Laser Blaze Williton, obviously. Yeah, shout out and to the team. Laser Corps. When was the last time you were Lake? Oh. So these are laser tag. laser tag type operations. So yep. one's an indoor place at a shopping center. Yep. The other one, which is Laser Blaze, Laser Corps is one that you play out in the bush. In the bush. So you got sand, you've got trees, you've got all the actual war type items. Um, there you go. When's the last time you guys went to? Either of these joints. Ooh, approaching decade, I reckon. Oh, yeah. We went to, no, we went to a guy we used to work with. 
We went to his birthday thing so at no. Laser Blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, we did. Shit. You know, you know the guy? Oh, my God. Yeah. Can I get an initial? LC. Yeah. yeah. Um, we wow. King. Actually, good. Great time. It's fine. How yeah. many years? 2018, 17. It probably would have been. Oh, my God. I don't know if either of us was still working there. But, yeah, it's good. It's actually held fun. It's funny what they say. Like, you know, you hear those psych, psych what do you call them? Medium psychic. Th- therapists. No, therapists. They're like, yeah, any traumatic experience, you're pretty good at just flushing out. Seem to have done that. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. No, Laser Boys is good fun. We should go. We should play Mac- Mac Pack Laser Blades. And oh, do yeah. you guys, just asking you now, um, Laser Blaze or Laser Corpse, what do you reckon? you got to go Blaze. Oh, what do I prefer? Yeah. Blaze. I don't like... Yeah. I don't, I it's air conditioned. Yeah, it's inside. Laser Corp is like, I feel like it's like you get out and then you're done. There's no like recharge sort of thing. Oh, once you get shot, is that over? That's I right. think so. And there's like lots of rounds yeah. of different Nah, games. Laser Blaze. I feel like Laser Corp is one, you go to it when you're like old enough for the first time and you're like... You know what, boys? Yeah. I've actually been thinking because my birthday is this Friday. I've been thinking, <laughs> what am I going to do for my 20th? This actually might be the play, boys. Laser Blaze. Go down to Laser Blaze with the boys. When was the last yeah, time you went to Laser Blaze with the boys? Get absolutely blown. <laughs> <laughs> there. That would be fun. I think my mates used to... N- yeah, anyway. And they go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fill in the gaps. <laughs> <laughs> fill in the gaps. Uh, laser Blaze, as they call it. Yeah. Let's um, go. Here we go. Right. And I just want to say, first of all, uh, both of these places, great fun for the whole family, and both of them have... 4.2 stars. There you go. So sponsorship so on gigs. IMDb. Shit. Yeah, so obviously <laughs> we pull the reviews that are... Negatives. Funny or... Yeah, negative. Yeah. So doesn't mean that they're all of them. representative of the place. Although yeah. this one to start off with is a full star review. Oh my God. Lots of kids... Who's who wait, how do we... Do we buzz in? Who goes first? Yeah, good question. Youngest goes first. Youngest goes first. Youngest birthday goes boy, first. considering it is your birthday this week. I'll give it to you. And you'll both answer them, right? That's the plan, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the review. Four stars. <laughs> Lots of kids who were screaming. Got to shoot a lot of them. Got best on team for one round. Best kids party ever. And this is by, I'm assuming, one of the dads because he's an old unit. Look, I don't <laughs> remember. Is there a photo there? <laughs> yeah, there is. Is there? His name is Ben Ball. How old does he look? Oh, that's intriguing. Ben Ball. He looks like a dad. He's probably... Late thirties. Oh, okay. This is a very pixelated screenshot. Right there you um, go. Junior. I'm gonna go laser wise. Uh, I'm gonna go laser corpse because I don't know why. I know laser blaze does rounds. Got to shoot. I don't think you'd say shoot if you said laser blaze. What'd you say? I don't know. And Riley was correct. Ba- was laser maybe, blaze. Would, maybe on reflection, maybe you would <laughs> say. <laughs> I think also the the best on team. You know, you come out and they have the scoreboards. Oh, the cool names like you could be like Luigi or Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So good. All right. Well, there you go. One nil for Ali. So how, Jake, many we, how many have we got? Uh, five. Okay, cool. Jake's going on this one. This is a one-star review Uh-oh. from three years ago. Terrible. Guns are outdated and cheap. Ooh. Uh, that's gu- it. <laughs> <laughs> Guns cause blisters because of terrible grip on gun. Weren't allowed to run. Oh. Oh. I know. That last one, mate, has changed my mind. I'm going to say Laser Corp, but the last one I must say has swung me to Laser Blaze. I'm going to go Laser Corp. I'm going to go Laser Blaze because I know you can't run. Yes. Fuck. So, it's interesting. Jake was actually correct. Oh, oh mother fuck. Although I do think but Laser Blaze is outside in the bush. Surely you can have a little run laser, around. Yeah, laser Corp laser is corp, outside, sorry. which is why I think the the fact that you're not allowed to run it's questionable. warrants it a one star. Oh. Everyone knows you can't run at Laser Blaze. That's not safe. Because it's close call. We've, all, we've been brought up with that rule. Bro, that sucks that you can't run, eh? There you go. It's one each. I think it's... If the kids were running around there, it'd be mental. They'd just be hitting each other with the guns. Yeah. No one would shoot anyone. They'd just be fucking putting guns. It makes you more stomach. focused on shooting people and stuff. Yeah, rather on the craft. Yeah. It's all about the craft. Yeah. <coughs> all right, now we One each. Another four-star review. Another four-star review <laughs> that I grabbed. It's not, it's not particularly funny, but... <laughs> Uh, most of it was great. Only four stars due to the quality of equipment, but the staff was great. <laughs> this one may have accidentally stuck into the file. Hang on, mate. This one may have accidentally stuck. This one may have accidentally stuck into the file. So it's one one. It's Read it out again. It's a four star review. 
Most of it was great. Only four stars due to the quality of equipment, but the staff were great. <laughs> okay, here you go. I it's know the, the good thing about <laughs> laser blades. Not wrong. The one thing, one of the main things I remember about laser blades is the really fun workers who work there. They give like the opening speech yeah. and like sit you in that room. Remember that corner room? Yeah, like yeah. the two and you, watch t- you used to be able to look down. Yeah, yeah. And everyone sits there and shit like that. Shit's fun, eh? So I'm gonna have to go the, the, by the leaders of the laser blades. I'm gonna go laser corpse because I think. I've sort of had the opposite oh, <laughs> interaction with the people at Laser Boys. Just because I think sometimes they're... I actually had a friend who worked at Laser Corps. So do we. And I forgot that he's also a good guy. <laughs> and this could be him. But so I'm, you're Blaze I'm locking you're in Blaze. I'm going to go Corps. Jake is correct. Bang. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Again. Because I the people are more <laughs> involved. When you're doing Corps, they're way more involved than at Blaze. Blaze, they're just like, yeah, get in there, guys. Enjoy. Don't yeah. run. Mm-hmm. But corpse, they're there's like, a bit more of a and they narrative. do the whole like we're in the war. Yeah, you know? you're like no, we're not. My mate wouldn't have been doing that. It leads a corpse. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe he wasn't there that yeah. day. Again, <laughs> that one. Two one. Great review, Joe. That's going to be Jay. one of the worst we've ever done. Yeah. I picked a lot and then I sift them down, and sometimes the sift has holes in it. <laughs> 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 All right, now we got to go on. This is a one star. This is what we live for in this game. <laughs> if I hit this, I win. We mm-hmm. got a redemption shot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Unless you match me. Here we go. Uh, some s- this is a one star. Some small man child decided to fortnight over me <laughs> when he tripped me. <laughs> and then it says, let's just say he didn't make it home for dinner with a smiley face. Oh. Which sort of implies he, he was mur- murdered. <laughs> 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 oh my so, God. That is. Do you want me to read it again? Yeah, just for entertainment's sake. Like, Some really. small man child Good decided visuals. to fortnight over me <laughs> when he tripped. What let's does just that say mean? He what didn't does. What does to fortnight? I didn't know it was an adjective. What is a fortnight over? It also like? it is not an adjective. The way the grammar is is interesting. It almost seems like some small. It would make more sense if it was some small man child decided to fortnight over me when he tripped. Let's just say he didn't make it home for dinner. Ah, oh. that makes more sense to be like he fortnight over me when he <laughs> tripped, and then there's a comma. <laughs> but and then it says I killed him. <laughs> Why not? It's like basically saying like this guy tried to NBA 2K over me. This guy tried to FIFA is over it just me. Just like doing something. Flashy like Fortnite is a video game. Like there's no Fortnite move. So I've got first here, yeah. I'm gonna go laser blaze just because I think th- there would pretty pretty man child sort of energies. Ugh, look, a lot of Fortnite I energies. Don't have any choices, it. do I? I'm gonna go corpse. <laughs> you don't you can have go the you same. can go the same. Oh, that changes everything. I would have gone corpse <laughs> last one. Um, <laughs> you had the first pick. Well, I kind of need to go. Wait. Do, oh wait, no. If I go, I'm gonna go blaze. It's the safe it's option. The safe option. Because <laughs> <laughs> then we can play what the extra strategy. one. Strategy. Strategy. Right, and you'd vote for your right. Oh, Bang! Yes. That's huge. Full of man children <laughs> and full of Fortniteers. Then you have a Our final campaign. one. All right. So if I get this, it's ro- so Riley. Okay, so now you can't win. So now yeah. you need to go opposite of what Jake does. Yeah, in order to win. No, that's in order, in order to tie. To tie. And do we have a fucking wait? Doesn't that mean tiebreaker? Uh, doesn't that mean that? Yep. Wait, I'll take I'm, I'm going. I'm I'm finding a plot hole in this. If I'm going first this time, Jake could just choose the exact same thing that I choose. He could. Thus, meaning that he'll win by default. I'm not about that. I'm in it for you the could, pride. Yeah. But oh. I could. Or I can make you guys both say this one at the same time. Okay. Let's try that. Let's write them down. All right. Probably what we should have done at the start. No, we'll just yell it at the same time. Okay. All yeah, right. So one. this is a one-star review. Res- refused <laughs> service <laughs> because they didn't want the good players <laughs> in with the regular customers. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my answer. Regular customers being six-year-olds. <laughs> good <laughs> players <laughs> being... Right. Dungeons and Dragons, you, on three, you both We've got to say Blaze or Corpse on three. Ready? Wait, wait, Is wait. it on three or after three? Three and then the beat after. Okay, so after three. Ready? Yeah. One, One two, two, three. Corpse. Blaze. Wow, this is it. This is it. This is so for Ryan the win. said Corpse and Jake said Blaze. Yeah. And Jake would be correct. Bang! Oh, no. Blaze that's Blaze. how we do, baby. Slipped that's through my fingertips. Jake's that's killed him. That's Four how two. We do. He's fortnighted over him and he won't <laughs> not be making it home for dinner. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. Social interactions can be a bit of a struggle at times, especially for Joe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> namely for Joe. Tell me, you call me socially Joe for nothing. <laughs> Always ruining chats. 
<laughs> and saying stuff that I need to talk to the HR lady about up. <laughs> <laughs> On this occasion, it actually had nothing to do with Joe, but I'm sure Joe will provide us with a handful of examples that he has encountered. Um, I was actually at work and I was heading to a print place. We do some external printing. Yeah. Yep. So I went to pick up, I can't even remember what it was. It was like letters, for example. Nice. Right? Cool. Good example. Uh, <laughs> 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 driven <down. laughs> I've driven down to the place that we go and get the external printing done. Yeah. And I get there and I'm like, oh, I'm here to pick up the, what did I say it was? Letters. letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do those things, for example. <laughs> I'm here to pick up those letters, for example. Um, no, they're actually, they're for Jake. And <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> and she goes, I don't get it. Instead of for Instead example. Of for example. <laughs> We're actually for Jake. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's <laughs> right. There you go. Bit of lag down that end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a delay. I thought you were away. Apparently, <laughs> you, apparently you are. Um, <laughs> now, so I've done that, right? I've gone to this place. I've got, I've got a l- order of letters here to be picked up by Jake. I'm Jake. I'm from this organisation, <laughs> right? I'm from this place, right? Woman standing to my left who's another uh, customer at this place. Yep. Turns to me, the, the woman over the counter just goes, oh, no worries, I'll get that. And the chick turns to me who's next to me and goes, oh, I was just there. Oh. And she's not an employee because I know all of the employees. We're not that big of a team, right? Yeah. She was just there. It's a bit of a public, well, it's a private community, but we, was there as a we get members of the public patron. coming through yeah. that we have to shoo out. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 she goes, I was just there. And I've gone, all oh, right, I should have just got you to come pick them up for me, right? Just do it a bit of like oh, light. Oh, zing. Do it a bit of light. That's funny. You light get jazz, right? Did you get a number? <laughs> do it a bit of light jazz. Yeah. And she did a laugh and it was a little, a little bit awkward. Oh, and no. Straight away as I said that, I was like, that, is that come across extraordinarily rude? Like, why don't you fucking pick them up then, you bitch? Like, is that Whoa. the tone? Well, that it, wasn't the tone it. it wasn't the tone <laughs> that I thought I'd said, but maybe it was. Um, no, nah, that's funny. Yeah, that's like, what I thought. Oh, she, I didn't know you were going to be here. Yeah, never yeah. met you before, sort of thing. Anyway, I thought I should have got you to pick him up for us. She didn't laugh, and then she just paused, and then there was just like this weird. And you're like, the chick's typing away, trying to find my order, and I just turned. I was like, "Oh, what were you doing there for?" And then she goes, "Oh, I'm actually just organising um, my mother's wake." <laughs> 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 and in that yeah. mo- in that moment, I've gone. I've, firstly, I'm probably too busy to get the letters. <laughs> I've been <laughs> pretty rude to her. She didn't laugh, so maybe I'm like, oh, maybe this is maybe what I said was a bit rude, right? So I'm on the back <laughs> foot pretty fucking heavily, yeah. okay? Whoa. How do you... I haven't... Uh, well, that's the issue. I, was, <laughs> I just went... I didn't go with the pause because I felt like the pause... Anytime there's going to be a pause, it's going to make this tougher. Yeah, it's going to go bang. So I'm going to now run you through the exact word for word oh what no. happened, Joe, and I want you to be the lady that goes, oh, I'm actually there for my funeral. Oh, yeah, I want yeah, you yeah. to play the part of the lady, yeah. right? So your, your lines are, Please. I was just there. I was... <coughs> Let's just there. And then the, I'm actually planning my mother's funeral. I'm actually there. actually planning my mother's week. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. Walked in and got. G'day, guys. I'm just here to pick up the letters for Jake for this business. Oh, I was just there. Oh. Should have got you to come pick up the letters. Actually, I'm planning my mum's <laughs> week. And I've gone. Nice. <laughs> 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 Oh, Ooh. God. <laughs> Ooh. And the moment it came out, <laughs> the good. moment Did it came it? out, I just <laughs> felt like grabbing it and going, no, that's not what I meant. Did you say it like that? I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> because like more... As if she said her 50th. <laughs> <laughs> more so like, oh, it's, it's nice, nice to have you. That. It's yeah. nice to have you on the premises. It's a nice place to have a f- like. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. said it like, oh, that's nice. No, I just said nice. Oh, like, nice. yeah, You're getting blind, <laughs> <laughs> which was grim because I what I should is it it's a nice venue. That's what I was going for, but instead I've just gone with more a celebratory. Thank God she's gone. Nice. Yeah. And so <laughs> we didn't exchange any other words. That was it. <laughs> that was oh, it. No. And what did she like, say after well, that? Well, she was talking to the bloke who was organising the funeral way better than it appears I was, right? She wasn't happy about it, hey? Hey? She, she wasn't happy about it. No, <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> high-fiving the staff in the same level of energy that I was. I don't know what the lady on the other side of the desk thought because she saw the whole interaction take place. And I'm sure she went home and explained that little shit fest to her dear friends and family (laughs) um so that was basically the end of my interaction so i thought 
Ooh. So what ends up happening and whether or not... The third act. The three acts. This part actually act. didn't have much to do with me. Oh. Okay, but about a week later, Spin-off. which is usually the same time. At, like Usually you have a wake within the week, correct? Yeah, while the body's yeah. still... Still warm. <laughs> <laughs> Moist. <laughs> um, In this climate. Now, <laughs> <laughs> so about a week later, I'm leaving work the following Friday. Okay, I'm about to leave. I'm heading off. B-b-b-b-bye. And I notice like there's a hearse and there's heaps of people walking into the place with wearing... <laughs> Black and oh, white. Oh, nice. Black, <laughs> and then black and white. Oh, apparel. cool box. <laughs> <laughs> black and white apparel. And I'm just getting a bit of, oh, that, there's, a, there's a funeral taking place here. Um, which is often the case, which I've previously mentioned. It's not often met with the high five, fist pump, yep. let's get that thing sussed. And then I've left, right? The weekend's passed. I've come back in on the Monday and I've been asked. We do like signage when there's stuff going on upstairs. Oh, yep. cool. And the signage is... Not just letters. <laughs> no, not just letters. The signage is normally like written down, oh, it's Dale's 50th birthday. Oh, yeah, so you're people up, don't go up there. Yeah, well, like you're up in, the, you're in this room. We've got four rooms upstairs. You're up in one of these rooms. Fantastic, Elizabeth's right? Elizabeth's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, sort oh, of. Um, I'm not in charge of the sign, so this wasn't had anything to do oh, with yeah, me, yeah. but it just compounded what I imagine this poor woman has experienced because I've come back on the Monday and one of the members of the staff let me know, like, oh, who does the signs? Da da da. Because on Friday we had a bit of an issue after you'd gone home. Ooh. I said, "What do you mean?" She goes, "Well, the lady who passed away it was her daughter who was organising the thing." Yeah. And in my mind, I've gone, "Oh, oh yeah, that legend." <laughs> uh, yes. What about it? Maybe she's going to make a fucking formal complaint about the fact that I high fived a staff member at the print place about this woman's <laughs> mother dying. <laughs> that was not the case. So on the sign. The sign read, Janet's, Janet's. Is that a real name? <laughs> Janet's. Yep. Dead. <laughs> celebration of life, which is what we call our weight yep. packages. Lovely. And that would have been all well and good. Except the lady's name was Janice. Oh. So we'd, oh, we'd, so slam, the r- we'd slam the wrong name on the board. Yeah. This and so this poor... Janice's. This, yeah. Not Janet. Yeah. yeah. So this poor woman has yeah. seen me high five and carry on and go, oh, nice. You're having a funeral at our joint. Janice. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. It's time for our favorite weekly segment. It's our only se- weekly segment. It's time for our everyday hero now, Junior Boy. Take it away. Boys, boys, boys. Boys, boys, boys. It's been a long time since I talked about clubs on the show. Yep. Right? We talk about it a lot, though. <laughs> we do it heaps. It's a long time since I've done a rave review, basically. This isn't a rave review, but it is out about a venue that I haven't reviewed yet. Blimey. It's a rave review. This is Everyday Hero. It's not a rave review. I just said that. This oh. is an Everyday Hero about a place. You haven't reviewed yet? No. But here we go. Rave review coming soon? A little teaser, Ooh. yes. Radio. Have you boys ever been to Jack Rabbit Saloons? Yep. Fucked. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. No. Uh, it's revolting. Oh. It is. Oh, really? It's like underground. Not really. It's rough. They, they Keep in mind, we, we did speak about Magnet House in a similar vein at one point, I remember. <laughs> I think it was when you got lobbed out. We were, yeah, we were yeah. quite critical of the joint. Mm. Now we get paid to do stuff there. Yeah, well, I'm um, keeping the same formula. Okay, so <laughs> this is this is a hope for more cashies. Hate them till they pay them. Yeah, keep them, keep them, keep them, treat them mean, keep them keen. <laughs> I like it. That's it. All right, JRS, right? Jack Rabbit's Loot. I didn't like it. Wait, what did you go there for? Uh, me and Cade went there. Just to go there? For a Saturday night, yeah. yeah. Just you two. They do, yeah, good, weird com- they do good concerts <laughs> and stuff. Cool, dude. Anyway, all right. Uh, they play weird music. Anyway, but let's not, we're talking, we're talking about some people that were down at JRS, right? Yeah. Obviously, me and Cade. It's downstairs. Oh, it's like kind of downstairs as well, right? Actually. No, you're going to the diner bit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's, cool. That's pretty much... It and the, it's the downhill like from there. UV, it's downstairs like from there. Uh, you know, like the lights. It's cool. In, it's cool interior design, but it's just stinky and sticky. It's just like metros. I don't know. Anyway. It's in a weird place. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, we're at JRS, right? And um, head downstairs. Me and Cade have just been chilling on the D floor. And then we see this guy. I've talked about an, another similar thing before. 
A wheelchair rolled past. This is the second wheelchair I've seen at a nightclub before. Okay. Yeah. That's two more than me. And me and Kay were at the bar getting our Powerade vodkas. That's the, the special drink. Is that at, a thing? At JRS. Hydrate and dehydrate all at once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Um, Tastes any art? It's not. It's real. Are they running with blue down. or red? Blue. It makes your tongue all blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're at JRS. Wheelchair goes past. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, it would have been hard to get down here, but, like, <laughs> good on you, like, fucking nice. Like, Maybe there's sick. a lift. I don't know. But yeah, like, good on you, like, what a king. Like, he's down here, he's enjoying the night, he's with all his boys. And um, it was just it was just cool to see, right? But that, that's not where the hero comes in, boys. Because I have given a hero for a gentleman in a wheelchair at a nightclub before. But this is actually isn't about the man in the wheelchair. So, later on in the night, I kind of saw him and just thought, oh, that's cool. Got my drink, went and had a dance with Cade, you know trotting around doing our thing and um and then i can't remember what ca- song came on but some epic drum and bass song came on that's big in the drum and bass community and um everyone in this <laughs> how'd it go uh boom 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 oh that one yeah, yeah. Good, everyone good everyone at jrs <laughs> this night was freaking loving it everyone was like boom 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 right <laughs> singing along <laughs> me and Kay, me and Kay weren't really like boom 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 because we're not into the boom 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 but then um, I turn around and the mosh was like going off. Everyone's like, you know, like boom, boom, boom. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, and the Black Eyed Peas. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. <laughs> Gotta yeah. get get. Anyway. Gotta get get. And then I see this body get blown <laughs> in the air. Oh, it's Joey. Right. It's Joey. Yeah, yeah, I was there. It's Joey at Florence on the Machine a couple of weeks ago. I see this guy being held up and I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. Like the boys are on. This guy, he must be freaking loving it. He's on his, he's on his 18th. Vodka Powerade and he's loving it, right? And then the song ends and they're like, all the boys like pushing him up, like loving him, like putting him on shoulders, like yeah. he's really getting tossed around amongst all the boys. And then I say, I'm like, shit, like, this is going to be funny. Like, you know when someone's on shoulders, it's always funny to watch them come Where'd down. Where'd you come down? Right? I'm nervous. But this person wasn't on one person's shoulders. This person was on he like... He was on a group. <laughs> people. Basically crowd serving. Ten of the, yeah, crowd serving. Basically on 10 people's shoulders. He looked like, like epic, right? He looked like a rock star. And I was like, oh, I don't want to watch him come down. <laughs> and then I see him come down, right? And he gets placed back in the wheelchair. Right, Dang. so as the one member of the characters we've been t- introduced to previously. Yes. So it is about the guy in the wheelchair. No, it's about all these boys that oh. lifted him up, praised him, that's and good. gave him, what a freaking ride. Maybe that's how they got him down the stairs. Because obviously... <laughs> <laughs> Probably. As, because, because obviously... Unless there's a lift. In the wheelchair, you know, you're lower than everyone on the dance Can't floor. And he's in the middle of the dance floor. And like... You can't see much and everything's going off and bumping into you. They were like, fucking no, let's, let's get this guy up and make him the centre of attention. I love that. That's fantastic. We went to a comedy show a couple of years ago, Joe. I don't know if you remember. I do, yes. Jason Byrne? Yes. So he spoke about a very similar story. At a Coldplay gig many, many moons ago, you can Google this, um, there was a bloke in a wheelchair yep. and he was, as you said, like vision's pretty tough when you're at a lower level. Yeah. And... All his mates picked him up in the wheelchair oh. and did exactly that and pushed him, like got him on shoulders, right? On the wheelchair still. So he's still in the chair. Those things are heavy. <laughs> he's still in the chair. Yeah. And the crowd surfed him all the way up. To Chris. To Chris, who was on the, <laughs> who was on the stage. Really? Yeah, got him all the way up there. On the stage? He was on the stage, was he not? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Because Jason at the comedy gig said it was the f- best video that he'd seen like ever. Definitely go search it if you're looking right now. I, don't know, I imagine just Coldplay wheelchair crowd surf. Probably, come probably enough of the words. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Jason did the exact same thing. He got a teddy bear at the very back of the room. Remember I was on the stage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that night. So we're like, I'm pretending to be yeah. Chris Martin and we're dancing like Muppets. Oh, that's the bit. And then he put the wheelchair at the back of the room and the whole crowd. Oh, no, it was me. I had to carry him in. You remember? I had to run down the back and I'm, I'm carrying the wheelchair in with like three other complete strangers that I've never met and we and put the wheelchair up on the stage and like recreating iconic moments. The gig. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. It's basically what that hero was. Well, that's sick, boys. We love, we love when people get around those who can't get around it as much as everyone else. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to level the playing field. Get that's around it. those who are potentially a little bit less fortunate than us and bring in them to level P. Make them smile. Great story. Make we absolutely them. love that. There we go. And everyday hero. Wasn't too many gags. Probably required. I like that. Alrighty, boys. Junior boy, your 20th birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Is it day of release? 
Yep. Yep. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, mate. Made it. 20 years. You've made it. Not a teenager anymore. Less of an excuse to be a fuckwit. But not a complete excuse. (laughs) The early 20s. Because you're still doing it. Oh, yeah. Fuck (laughs) out. Very exciting. You got any plans? (laughs) Be a fuckwit. (laughs) Not for the year, for the celebrate. Um, Well, like I was saying, laser blades, laser corks might be the play. Nice. I I think I might save it up, though, just for the big 2-1. I'm excited for your 21st next year. I imagine we're going to have... A fuck one. A (laughs) big crew here. Oh, yeah. You do a live event. <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, <laughs> very exciting, but I'm thinking. Bro, like, you're I gonna get 200 down to my 21st. Yeah, I don't think the Shit. fucking house would be able to deal with that. We could get 100 people in the pool. Yeah, exactly what I mean. You Just know, summer's, summer's extending. Yep. April 14. Yeah, we've been still getting some hot days now. True, yeah. <laughs> if you're listening now, make sure to send Riley in <laughs> a quick little, little happy birthday, Riley. Happy <laughs> birthday, Junior Boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, in the DMs. Put him on your story. Don't know where you're gonna get a photo of him. <laughs> Put him on your fucking story. Oh, yeah. Do you find like, do you get that? Or do you get the story post when you're with from strangers? <laughs> no, from my <laughs> mates. Yep. No, my my I don't mates. Me either. I don't really get that. You well, don't have any mates. I find <laughs> it like uh, I do. I don't even get any messages. <laughs> I find it a little bit <laughs> cringe. I, I like when it's done for me, <laughs> but like when I do it for other people, I feel like because I have like t- my group chat consists of like twenty five boys. Yeah. It's like humble rag. All I right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I was ta- if I was doing a birthday post for each one of them, that would be a month of the year. It'd be the entirety of February. You know, humble brag. It gets a bit crazy. For your birthday, I think we're gonna get you a humble brag. Cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's like fat. <laughs> yeah. Fit on your oh. bicep. How exciting! Have you got big plans for the week? No. We're not going to do the thing I thought we were going to do. We're going to just chat about your birthday. Oh, waxing. We're just going to chat about your birthday, yeah. I don't have any plans. What's been your favourite birthday today? My COVID birthday. Wow. When we didn't do anything. And we watched Scooby. What did we, we do? We watched Scooby Doo. We woke up that day. Chairs. Played darts. Olivia came over. She got me a Buzz Lightyear plush toy. Elite. A Bon Iver vinyl. It was epic. Mum got me Fortnite socks. <laughs> Remember that? Fortnite socks. <laughs> Which I wore to school in year 12. Um, yeah, we played darts. If, if you had a set at the start of this episode, the over-under on Fortnite mentions at 3.5, <laughs> <at three laughs> yeah. I would have gone under and put the house on it. Yeah. Uh, we, what did we do? <laughs> played darts, played pool. Taylor was, Taylor was here. We, we, we played Clue. Clue was fun. Yeah, Clue was always fun. We did play Clue. Did we ever Simpsons talk about... We played darts. And we then, yeah, darts. Yeah, I already mentioned that. And oh. then we watched one of my favourite movies of all time, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. A hard watch for us. Oh, <laughs> that's fantastic. Did we ever talk oh. about when we played Clue and Riley first guess got it? We never did. We should do it now. So basically that's, <laughs> basically that's <laughs> what happened. <Yeah. laughs> just, we, just like that, it's done. We hadn't played Clue since my birthday and then a, a, probably like a month or two ago, we whipped it out. Yeah, we, we did. did Jake's at Jake's place. And then we played Clue after we whipped it out. <laughs> we had a family night at Jake's house <laughs> and we played Clue. And then what was it? It was like Marge. Oh my God, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> it was Marge. <laughs> <laughs> in the Frank the voices Dutchman. are telling him. Marge in the Frank Dutchman with the necklace. It was something like that. And, <laughs> and everyone was like, because obviously I had the first guest, Joe Delp, and it was like, uh, I'll just go these three. And then just Bang. looked around and everyone was like, world's shortest, oh <laughs> world's shortest and shittest. And Joe track. worked out what was the likelihood of that happening. It was like one in like It wasn't hundred. actually that. It was like one in 200 or something. Which is still pretty intense. Yeah. yeah. You fucking do it, bitch. Don't say it wasn't that impressive. Well, well, it's not like... <laughs> Yeah, insane. fuck off. You do it. <laughs> I remember one year we went to... They should have Cluedo at the cast. I'd clean up. Eh? <laughs> anyway, go. Yeah. I remember one year you went, we went to... Um, a Hoyt Cinema. Oh, Sean the Sheep. For the Sean the Sheep movie. That yeah, was a great... That's one of the best movies of all time. I love that film. I oh, love that. That was great. And then we, went to, we went to Nando's. Did we go to Nando's before or after? After. I'm going to lock in after. Do you remember Soph Jones was there? Yeah, Jonesy. <laughs> Jonesy and like 12 of your mates. Yeah, all mate, these lads. My year seven boys and girl. <laughs> there you go. That was a fucking ripper. I also yeah. remember your first birthday quite well. Oh, I remember that you had one at a basketball stadium, at a basketball court. Oh, Leaming. Yeah, Leaming Rare. Oh, no, it wasn't nah, Leaming. It was a weird Striker. One. Yeah, yeah. But then I also had one at Inflatable World, which was a Leaming Rack. That was my 19th. <laughs> 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 what? No, inflatable no. World? Yeah, Did they you have just like blow up. Inflatable World? Yeah, yeah. At Leaming Rack. Did yeah, you? Where they play indoor soccer. Yeah, yeah. Inflatable. I don't remember that. I What's remember inflatable you had Tropical world? Twist. I think that was year eight. What's Inflatable World? They just like blow up. It's like... 
It's like jungle gym. They go to you the, know the inflatable it, stuff at jungle gym. It's like that. You did that in year eight. You were fucking 15, 14. It was freaking dope, dude. <laughs> I don't remember that. It was sick. I, I don't remember I. that either. Well, Joe, you drove us. <laughs> I remember my friend talking about how you didn't have a muffler on your car. And that's why it's so loud. What so house are we in? True drive. You're right. Inflatable world. Who? I don't remember this. I don't remember it at all. Yep. In year eight. So I would have been year 12. Yeah. How old am I? Two years older than me. Second year uni. This was Jake's prodigal child era where he wasn't living with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He I don't was, remember this. He was spending his riches in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this at all. I don't know. You probably got fucking the movie cinema or something. Well, I missed your birthday. It was inflatable. Yo, you, you have to be a real world. dick to miss your brother's birthday. <laughs> An inflatable world. <laughs> Not even me in the country. <laughs> 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 good. Good. Uh, oh, well. We, so we got an inflatable world this year. Could be on. There you go. Right, feel like anyway, we'll be sure. I feel like a few of your mates play with different inflatable toys than what they might have done. You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure we'll talk about your birthday in a yeah, couple of couple weeks. Yeah, we'll probably <laughs> shut about we'll it. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I yeah, found a hole. 137, maybe 138. We'll yeah, we've got some, we Thank got some big topics coming up. We do. In a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that brings us to the end of another episode of the Mag Pack podcast. Happy birthday, Riley. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Riley. How well are the pies going as well? Pies are oh, absolutely killing it. The pies are going. Going. Oh pies, baby. Yeah, we'll, maybe we'll do some footy chat soon. Couple of wins, couple of losses, probably. Did, did you see Scott <laughs> Pendlebury on the weekend? Definitely that did crazy. that thing. Yeah, he's been unreal. He's a beast. And how about the upsets? <laughs> oh, oh they've been, been upsets. Oh, <laughs> they made me cry. They made me upset. Did, did they you see that there? ludicrous display last night? Oh, that was what, was, what was Wagner thinking? Sending... <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway. yep. Anyway, that's enough sports analytics. <laughs> Boy, it's been an absolute pleasure. It really has, yes. Bro, it's been 20 years, mate. I feel like I've known you for Six. two decades. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. We'll have a fucking couple of beers today. Celebrate the big day, you know yeah, what I'm saying? On it. When do those VB extra ones come in? Have they shipped to us yet? <laughs> might, we, we might have <laughs> already. We <laughs> 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 might have actually already <laughs> had one on the panel. <laughs> oh, shit, might have had enough to go. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they really are strong. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, boys, until we do this, this time next week, stay safe, stay blessed, and always remember to go give your mother a hug. It's chuffing out, but not forever. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>